back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be a, hopefully, hopefully a weekly reading vlog. I am kind of getting back into wanting to read again and I've been watching booktube again. I know that I've been completely, I know that I've been like super absent and completely gone off booktube and book twitter and all that kind of stuff. It's just cause like this book slump has taken over my life. It's, it's like a book slump and it's also having the motivation to read or do youtube or booktube or any of that kind of stuff. And so it just kind of hurts and it's hard because like I want to be able to do this and I hate being so far away from the place that makes me happy. And recently I've been getting in a better place mental health wise and just life wise. I've been at a better place than probably the last time you guys talked to me and I am I'm good with that like I'm happy and so I was able to I want to start focusing more on like my goals and making like 2020 like my year like I've said that this year but like I truly want like to focus more on like my YouTube and my reading and all that kind of stuff and I've also thought about doing more things for this channel and like adding different things to this channel so in 2020 I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not going to hold back. I'm just going to start posting what I want, book related, fashion related, whatever it may be. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, then please do subscribe down below. We are a really cute little family over here. You know, I love you guys so much. And like, you guys are seriously like my biggest supporters and it makes me so happy. Like I can't even explain to you how happy it makes me to have like such an amazing supportive system on the internet you know because like even if i'm gone for such a long time you guys are still there whenever i post a video and it's just like really cute it makes me so happy to see like your comments and like seriously like i never thought that i'd be that kind of person that would have like a support system like that and it just makes me really happy and that's why i want to start posting more content that's different than just books but i'm probably going to keep my channel Car carly reads at this point um, I might change it in the near future if you guys are starting to like like different content on my channel But it's still gonna mainly be like my book channel But I want to throw in like some thrifting videos and some stuff like that just because I have my other channel that I do that on But I don't get the support that I get over here Nobody even comments or watches my videos on my other channel compared to like what you guys do on this channel Like you guys blow me out of the water on this channel like it just makes me feel great So I'm gonna start posting more things like that maybe come the next couple months new, the new year whatever it may be and also just leave me whatever video like recommendations you want to see down below like any type of videos you want me to do and books you want me to read because like i'm so out of the loop with like what books are like popular right now and like what books are out what new books are out and all that kind of stuff so i've just been getting back into watching booktube and you know my book slip is bad when i actually don't want to watch any booktube videos but now i'm kind of getting back into watching booktube videos and feeling that excitement to like go watch like your favorite booktubers booktube video so like I'm really excited and I have a lot of books that I actually need to complete and I, like, I'm looking at my shelves and like I have a lot of books on my shelves that I said I was going to read that I have not read at all this year and this was a really good reading year in the beginning of the month in the beginning of the couple months of the, like six months at least it was a good good reading time and then it just kind of fell off the rest of the six months but it's it's whatever um it's kind of how it goes for me but this has been like my longest book slump for a while that I've had so I'm kind of hoping I can get out of it um speaking of which I actually bought like five or six books today just because I felt like buying myself new books just because I wanted to and it's, it's probably bad to do that because I have so many books on my shelves that I'm looking at right now that I need to finish or even start but there's two books that I'm trying to finish by the end of this year the one book I actually started I think back in March and I still have not completed it I'm like a hundreds or so pages in and that is City of Bones I think I'm looking at it right here yeah um City of Bones I still have so much left of this to read I'm at page 173 okay i thought it was at like one, 107 or 170 so that's a lot 117 that's better than what i thought it was so this is the book that i really need to finish the most and then i also have um there's somebody inside your house by, house by stephanie perkins and um, those are the only two books that are literally on my radar right now that completely finish and all that kind of stuff because those are books that i've had on my that i'm currently reading for like a long time well i actually just started this one like last month and i was supposed to read it finish it back in october but I never got to it. I'm about halfway through it. And then City of Bones, I've just been reading it since like March. I was taking my time with that, but at this point I'm just like, I'm wasting my time. I wanna like have, I wanna go into the new year with no books that I'm currently reading and just start fresh and have like a good amount of books to read. I have a bunch of books on my shelves that I'm gonna read hopefully with the new year. I know this is rambling. I'm just trying to catch you all up and give myself my own like refresher and update so I can like make myself not feel mentally insane right now. Speaking of which, I have books to show you guys. So this is gonna be like a little haul and I'm super excited. I really hope that I can make my comeback with YouTube and I'm really, really sorry that I have been so absent. Life has just been really crazy with working all the time. Literally all I do is work and when I come home, 
it's like six o'clock at night and so I don't really feel like doing anything I'm really tired and I have school work now so I'm, I started math like last week so i am be doing math now but thankfully winter break is gonna be coming up in December it's November now but within another month I have like another month left of school seven week course is what I'm trying to say so I will be back on spring I'll be on like winter break I'll have I will be working at all this this holiday season so I'll be able to read I'll be able to play sims I'll just be able to do what I want so I'm really excited and I miss just wanting to spend my weekend just reading like I like watch my old my own old reading vlogs and just look and look back at me just like reading all weekend like I would skip going out to parties or hanging out with my friends hanging out with my parents like just to go in my room and read like I miss feeling that way about books so I'm really hoping I can get back to that because there's so many good books on my shelf and there's so many good books coming out and so many books coming out in 2020 that I really want to get my hands on so and I'm going to show you the books that I got today so as you guys know I've only been shopping for books on my TBR probably I want to say since the beginning issue this year I started only shopping for books on my TBR also just because I'm too lazy to read the synopsis of a lot of books that look interesting and then I don't end up reading them because I know a lot of these are like trustworthy opinions of like booktubers that I watch so I only pick up books that it's they're like kind of like talked about on booktube so if you're probably gonna all know all these books and they've all been on my TBR for a while so I'm excited so I got a couple books right here and they're all a good mix of different genres so I'll just start off with the top one which is Zodiac by Romina Russell and okay so I feel like this was a popular book on booktube a while back not too sure whatever um basically it's about Zodiac basically it's about this girl named Ro I'm pretty sure and she is the young guardian of cancer and she must find the way to unite the divided houses of the Zodiac before an ancient evil destroys them all so it sounds very different it sounds like a fantasy book it seemed interesting when I first I read that like a first the first sentence sounds good and I also like that it has maps I've learned this year that I like books with maps for example god what book am I thinking about I I literally just read that like a couple months ago it was a book with maps really popular it took me forever to read I definitely did a reading vlog about it I'll put the book up somewhere on a screen if I can remember what I'm talking about I don't remember the title of the book but that one has a map and I actually like that and after I started reading that I learned that I like going flipping back to maps in the books yeah anyway so yeah I got Zodiac next one is one that's probably a very problematic book to have picked up but it's been on my TBR I think the longest out of all these books that I purchased today um, it's Forbidden by Tabitha Suzama I don't know it's basically like an incest love story that sounds so terrible it's basically about like this brother and sister that kind of have like a like, like forced I guess kind of to be like close and they end up falling in love because of like how shitty their mom alcoholic mom is and have to take care of like, their younger siblings and it just brought them closer together and they fell in love and i don't know i'm kind of i'm very uncomfortable that i bought this but i was like this has been on my tbr for like a very long time so i just decided to say fuck it and just get it so we'll see feel about that because i don't like incest love stories and they're very problematic i mean who would love incest love stories if you did i Think there's something wrong with you just saying um but yeah i got that we'll see how that goes next is one that's also been on my tbr for a while and also another fantasy i'm trying to get into fantasy because like i've seen a lot of romances that i wanted to pick up today but i was like those are just like the little the most corniest cliche love stories ever i'm not gonna waste my time on them sorry casey west so anyway i got scythe by nail susterman and we all know what scythe is about i feel like but it's about like these people named Citra and Rowan, Rowan, and they're chosen to apprentice to a scythe and they have to kill people. And if they fail to kill people, then they are at risk of being killed, I think. And there's like a whole, I think there's like a third book out for this already. I know I'm like really late to getting to actually reading scythe. So hopefully I'll like this because again, this reminds me of not Dark Dawn. I never fucking read Dark Dawn. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm trying to figure out what book it is that I was with the dark dark link the dark link it's that book is what i'm trying to talk about i'm like literally blanking on the name of it right now yeah but that's what this would remind me of next is what i lost by alexandra bollard and i think it's about an eating disorder and her going to like a treatment center and stuff like that i i, I watched a booktuber read this book and they said it was really good so that's when i put it on my tbr and because it kind of hits a little close to home, you know, um, you guys know my struggle with my food this year has not been the greatest. But we're trying to get back on track, and so far it's been okay. 
but yes um, I'm excited to read this I feel like this will be a very good eye-opening story and you know probably very relatable in some really bad aspects but you know it's whatever and the last one is what I'm actually super super excited about because I just put this on my TBR last night because I was watching Books and Lala and Chandler they both talk about these books I think it was Chandler it might have just been Books and Lala but Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter I, I knew what this was about last night I said it all the time but it sounds so terrible been more than 20 years sisters stranger survivors I think it's about like these sisters that come together after their third sister's missing and then they have to figure out what happened and it's like a bunch of like shitty things that happened to the poor girl i might be thinking about a different book but i think that's what that was oh it has a really tiny font i didn't know that whatever so yeah those were the few books that i got and i also want to share um everyone has like their cute like little like little bag you can keep all like their like bookmarks and like their tabs in and all that kind of stuff and, like highlighters markers pencils all that kind of stuff i kept mine in like plastic baggie <laughs> for a while because I was I would only use it to highlight um City of Bones and like my tabs and all that kind of stuff I would use that mainly for tabbing City of Bones and I would always carry it with me when I was reading that but tonight I finally bought like a pencil case like bookmark holder and it says fuck off I'm reading <laughs> my favorite saying so far has been fuck off like recently which is probably really bad but I've been saying that and that's cat on it as it books it's super cute it was very fitting and now I have a place for, like all my tabs and my pencils and a random Amazon gift card you know for buying books so yeah that's really all I have to update you guys on I think for tonight my reading goals is currently 8 10 yeah it's a little late I just finished homework I have to go make dinner and make some lunch for tomorrow but I think I'm going to try and sit down and read some more of There's Somebody Inside Your House. There's Someone Inside Your House. Because I would like to finish this. Because if you guys didn't know, I DNF'd this in the beginning of the year. And then I got back on track with trying to read it. I totally picked it up, reread it, reread it. And then I have started liking it again. So, yeah. I, I really have no clue what any of these books are about anymore. Because I've taken the longest break from reading. And I probably should start off with something that's a lot simpler. But I would like to at least try and see if I can get some of there's someone inside your house out of the way so i can finish it because i wanted to read heartstopper volume 2 because i've not yet yet read that and i pre i pre-ordered that and everything so yeah and there's a buzzwordathon coming up in november too so i'm super excited about that because that'll get me to read even though none of the books that i bought tonight will go towards that so that's great and i really have like no numbery kind of books so we'll have to figure that out as well but uh yeah that's all i have to update you guys on hopefully this will be a successful weekly reading vlog this is literally 15 minutes of me just talking yeah not surprising but yeah i also got my nose pierced so now my entire nose is pierced and um yeah this was very fitting i very much love this piercing i definitely felt like this was a must for me so yeah i'm super excited and happy right now today's been a really good day i don't even know why it just has been for monday it is just i've just been at all at happiness with myself i don't know at peace sure all right i'm gonna go i have to go eat goodbye hi guys i actually have a reading update oh this is new okay so i ate did my homework i showered and i decided because i have this i had a speaker in my shower like a bluetooth speaker that you could stick on the wall and it died and i don't know what the charger's at for it so i bought a new one this weekend for like five bucks at five below and so i was like wait i kind of want to read a book right now but i need to go shower so i was like why don't I listen to an audiobook in the shower? And it's something I never did before, but I think I'm going to start doing that more often now because I really like it. And I randomly just picked a book, and it happened to be a book that was on my TBR, a book that I wanted to read last month, a book that I want to read. It was like a TBR for like my fall time months. I did a, a fall TBR, that's what it was called, where I wanted to read some books that were like fallish and like spooky and mystery and all that kind of stuff. So this one would actually fit that because I actually canceled my script account like like a week ago just because I was paying $8.99 a month for not even reading any books but I might get it back if I start reading books again so so far I'm just using Libby and Hoopla through my library which they don't really update them with any good books thanks Clara but anyway the one that I was am currently starting to read I'm only 22 pages in but it is The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen and so far I actually like it I'm only two, 22 pages in so I'm on chapter 3 I'm about to start chapter 3 it's 11 hour audiobook so that's gonna take me a little while especially because I don't know um how well i'm gonna get with audiobooks i told myself i wasn't gonna get into audiobooks again for a little while which is because 
they kind of stress me out sometimes it's hard to like always like focus focus and listen to them but i think now i might start listening to them again so like, whenever i listen to music i would just listen to audiobooks just try and replace all of my things that i would do with audiobooks again because it does really help you read more books and that's what i'm trying to do right now so so far i'm liking this it's basically about this i've got i've got a little bit more of information on this as i've started listening to it and basically it's about this husband and wife which they've divorced and there's some reason behind it that i'm pretty sure is going to like unfold throughout the book you guys probably have already read this book because it's been around for a while now but basically they've divorced and there's some reason behind it and the wife the ex-wife seemed to have some side, some sort of like psychopathic tendencies <laughs> she seems very obsessive like an obsessive compulsive disorder whatever it's called um bipolar possibly like she kind of seems that and she basically she's just like she's like starting her life off after living with her very rich husband and now she's like living with her aunt and living and working as like a sales associate and then seeing like an old friend and stuff like that so and then it like it jumps back and forth between point of views from the ex-wife to the current fiance which at first I was kind of confused on what the points were like who was who but I realized the one point was the young teen the young teenage girl the young girl that he is getting married to and then the ex-wife that he was married to his the guy's name is Richard boy how wrong was I I think the girl's name is Vanessa and I don't know who the other girl's name is because I was tr listening to it so I really have no clue what their names are at this point in and again I'm only 22 pages in but okay so the new wife is named Nellie The guy's name is Richard. And then Aunt Charlotte is who that one woman's living with. And what is her name? Vanessa, I think her name is. Yes, Vanessa. My bad. I'm literally sitting here trying to figure out all the names. Vanessa, Richard, Aunt Charlotte, uh, and Nellie. And then Hillary, which is Vanessa's one friend. Okay, I'm literally just getting so far into this. But now that I've listened a little bit to an audiobook, I'm gonna try and start reading um, There's Someone Inside Your House, even though I really wanna like just go and listen to my audiobook right now, because I'm kind of like into it. Um, I kind of wanna do that, but I also really need to complete this one. And they're both spooky, so I mean, either way, it'll be giving me that thrill that I want. Um, at first, that book, The Wife Between Us, actually made me really anxious because it, I was in the shower, and there was a point in the book where it literally just started where it was the girl was in the shower, something creepy happened and it felt really too realistic and I was like, oh shit, let's not get me murdered now. So yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna go read some more of this. I will give you guys an update. Um, once I get farther into it, I'm about to start chapter 11. So that should be fun and I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, so it is currently 12 o'clock at night, like 12, 19. And um, I've literally just been reading since the last time I updated you guys and I'm on page 214. Well, no, 2.15 at this point. So I have, like, this much left, and I'm, like, so tempted to just say fuck it and stay up and just read the rest of this because it ends at, like, 2.84. And, I mean, like, I'm enjoying it. Like, it's weird because, like, I feel like it's just because it's, like, a thriller, like, mystery book. I'm able to just dive in and, like, lose myself in the book because at this point I've, like, lost myself in this book. And, like, I'm somebody that, like, looks at, like, the page numbers and how much farther I have to go. But this, I literally have not been, like, really doing that. I'll, like, look up, like, oh, shit, I'm at, like, page 200. Oh, shit, now I'm at two page 214. <laughs> like, it's just kind of crazy how much I, how fast I've read this. Um, honestly, I, it's an average book. Yeah, it made me very anxious at some points, but, like, it's just very average. Like, I already know who the killer is. And it wasn't any, like, main character so I'm kind of mad about that. And like, I feel like it was not very like, fleshed out like I was expecting it to be. I think I just had like higher expectations for this book because it's a thriller. But like, you know when you find out who the killer is, but like you expected it to be somebody that was like really important. But I figured that if it was somebody that was really important, then it was gonna be too obvious and then it would still been a shitty book. So, I mean, there's still some left to go. There's still more information that's not being told yet. But then we also figure out why Makani changed her name and why she moved. And that didn't, like, I was expecting that to be, like, a bigger thing, too. But it really wasn't. So it's kind of a bit disappointing. Um, I'm not going to spoil that, obviously. But, you know, I mean, I feel like if I left this book DNF'd, I would have been fine. But I obviously wanted to try it again. So... 
at this point, I'm just going to finish it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish it tonight. I might finish it tomorrow. Because I'm kind of getting tired. And I have work tomorrow. I don't think of it. It's like 7. And also, <laughs> a freaky thing. When I was reading this book, I was literally reading a part where they were just starting to like, dive into Makani. And like her storyline and like why she moved and all that stuff. And I'm just like sitting here laying in bed. I have like my reading light on. Like all my lights are off besides my reading light. And I'm like playing like soundscape to my phone. All of a sudden, like my fucking like Christmas lights, like little white ones, they just turn on. And like they're like half plugged into my wall and half plugged out. So like I understand that they probably could like randomly get like this allergic, oh, allergic, this surge of like electricity and this turn on. But like, bro, that's never happened before. I literally about shit myself. I was like, nope, we ain't dying tonight. So I was just like kind of like freaking out because my lights are generally turned on. Like, hello? No, go away. Don't want that. So I'm a little bit freaked out, not gonna lie, because I'm trying to read it. Oh my god, my cat just gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I'm trying to read a scary book and not be actually like killed and scared myself. Um, especially, no, the title of this book. Gross. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it out loud. But yeah, hello. My cat's taking on my reading vlog. Okay, so at this point, I have friends on. Um, at this point, I'm just going to chill, maybe just call it a night tonight. And continue this book on tomorrow and then I also will listen to more of the life between us on my way to work tomorrow so I'm actually really happy because I kind of feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things and it feels so good I guess I need like a good thriller just to start getting me out of my reading slumps now so that's fun I'm excited and um yeah so I'll have to update you guys on to the rest of the night I think I'm gonna try and go to sleep because I'm at a good stopping point before anything else happens like anything crazy so I will talk to you guys tomorrow hello happy Tuesday um this is me actually checking in and actually successfully starting a weekly reading vlog and I know I said last night that I was but you know how that kind of goes like one day and then it stops because I usually hit my reading slump but I'm like actually really feeling myself getting out of this slump like I just want to go and read like all these books I do actually have like a bit of an update for you guys on what I've been reading um, I talked to you guys last night before I went to bed about the book I was reading and I'm still in the middle of well halfway finished there's somebody inside your house. I will be finishing this by tonight, no doubt about that. I just have homework that I have to do when I get home. We have voting tonight too, which don't really feel like doing that, but um, well, I'll be doing that, I'm guessing. Then I have homework, all that kind of stuff, and then I'll be reading. I literally have like not that many pages left of There's Somebody Inside Your House. I'm about to start chapter 21. I'm on page 215 out of like 285. And again, I still am really liking this. I'm on my break right now, so I'm probably going to read for a little bit. Um, I also listened to my audiobook of The Wife Between Us on my way to work this morning. And again, still liking that. I think I'm on like chapter 5. I'm not too sure. I'm still not too far into that one just because I did start it yesterday, last night. And I will be listening to that as like the weeks go on, the week goes on. I'm not really like forcing myself to finish that anytime soon. Just kind of enjoying it as I go. Just having myself have an audiobook so I can be reading more than one book at a time. Um surprisingly i'm actually interested in reading audiobooks again which i'm surprised i'm able to get myself back in audiobooks and reading in the same swing so i'm really excited about that so right now i'm just gonna be sitting and reading more of my book and that's really it um after work i'll be reading more of my book i'm gonna be finishing this by tonight i'm pretty sure like i'm 90 95 percent sure that i'll finish this by tonight just because i don't have that many pages left and i was flying through it last night and i would like to finish it by tonight anyway just because I don't have that much left and I would like to start another book by tonight too so I'm not really sure what other book I'm gonna finish like I'm gonna start tonight but I would like to at least finish this one and yeah then I will hopefully like start making more videos throughout this week too I know I want to do the end of the year book tag because I've seen that's been going around and I want to do like all of those like end of the year videos that everyone always does that I never really got to participate in which I think I did some last year but I, I will have more to talk about this year because I've read more books this year which I think I've already completed my goal of my books. I don't know what my goal was, but yeah, that's all I have to really update you guys on. I'm going to read some more of this book. I am on my break now, so I'm probably going to... I'm kind of contemplating on getting some coffee. I'm, like, really cold, and it's, like, kind of chilly out, so I kind of want to get, like, a hot coffee from somewhere. Don't really know. I might just chill and just read instead. So, yeah, that's all I have to update you guys on, and I continue reading more of my book, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, so, hi guys. <laughs> um, so, it's, um, like, 10 o'clock at night. I just finished 
there's somebody inside your house and the book kind of fucked me up <laughs> more than I was expecting. I am really glad that I actually did go back and give this book another chance. I was, I'm on the fence about giving it like a 3.5 or 4. The ending kind of made it and the fact that I learned to actually be okay with main character because McConaughey I really did not give a shit about in the beginning. I mean I still don't really care for her. Ollie's my favorite low-key. Um, so this book kind of really messed with my emotions with that and holy cow like the ending like the almost like to the ending scared me because I thought it was going a different way than what I was expecting and then all of a sudden it, it just it like it was like a good like happy ending I guess you could say I don't know if it's like a spoiler but it was like a happy ending as happy as a murder book could get <laughs> but this was absolutely crazy and I'm still kind of left with the questions as to why the murderer did what he did. I mean, they kind of give like an understanding of it at the end, but at the same time, I still have like, like actual questions for like, why, what was the purpose of murdering people? Like, I don't get it, but you know, this book was a roller coaster and I'm really happy that I finally finished it. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna stick with like a four out of five star rating. Um, not a 5 out of 5, definitely not close. It's like a 3.5, 3.75, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna be like super picky with it, but that's my rating for it at this point in time. I probably won't be rereading this ever again, um, just because I already know what's gonna happen, and I don't feel like going through that torture again. So with that being said, I can start another book now. Um, wow, I actually was able to finish a book that literally took me like a day because I was able to fly through that. I honestly have no idea what I want to read now. I actually could go and read Heartstopper Volume 2 because that's why, well, that was another book that I wanted to read. But as of right now, I really have no clue what I want to read. I still have some time before I could probably go to bed. So I'd like to start like another book. I really don't feel like reading City of Bones. Um, don't really feel like having to use my brain power to think with that right now. Um, I could always just read some silly, like simple book um, like, romance book. That's why I thought of, like, Heartstopper Volume 2. But I don't know if I'm really in the mood for that. Or if I just want to, like, start, like, one of the books that I bought yesterday. Like, I kind of want to start the Forbidden book. I definitely want to start another book tonight. And maybe I could start, like, another, like, thriller. Because I feel like I'm kind of, like, in the mood for thrillers. Because, like, I just kind of read those super fast. Um, because I was thinking of starting The Girl in 6E. But because Buzzword is coming up this month like next week or whatever whatever the 18th is it's like coming up i was thinking that i could i could use the girl in 6e for a part of my buzzword because it has a six in the title and it's for in the and this buzzword is about numbers for the next one if that makes any sense um it's like numbers in the in the titles so i kind of want to save this one for that but i don't know what else I'm, i would want to read because I had a few books on my shelves that I wanted to try and get to, but I feel like I should just read something that's super simple. But I also kind of feel like being on edge, which is really stupid, but whatever. Yeah, that's all I have to really update you guys on. Um, yeah, once I figure out what I'm going to read, I will definitely update you guys because I'm going to look at my bookshelves and just kind of look at what I really want to read right now because I'm not really sure what I want to read, but we'll see what I'm in the mood for. And yeah. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. So, yeah, it's Wednesday, yeah. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a reading update where I'm at with my reading and whatnot. I didn't talk to you guys during lunch because I had a lot going on. I kind of had a situation at work that kind of upset me. So it really wasn't in the mood to uh, talk to you guys at all, sorry. <laughs> um, but I did listen to my audiobook while I was on my lunch break. I don't know how far I am, in, wow, how far in I am, but it's starting to get a little bit more like spooky murderous -y, I guess you could say I really wish I knew how far I was I think I'm on like chapter five or six I'm not really sure I think I said the same thing yesterday but last night as you guys saw I did finish um there's somebody inside your house somebody inside my house whatever it's called I'm exhausted right now I just did like two hours of math homework that was all wrong so I really don't give a shit about life right now so last night I started a new book and I was talking to you guys how I didn't know which book I wanted to read so I decided to pick up one of the newer books that I bought that was on my TBR for a while and it is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzama. I don't know. I am only 16 pages in. I was reading last night for a little bit and I got super, super tired and I was like, you know, I just wanna go watch some booktube. So I watched some booktube and then I fell asleep. And I'm really tired right now just because I just spent like two hours doing math homework that is most likely wrong. So that's 
fun. You know, it's it's, it's a grand old time. But yeah, I am probably going to continue reading this. This is like a 400 page book. And if you guys don't know what it's about, it's about these two brother and sister that kind of fall in love because they're like raising their siblings because their mom's like a alcoholic and stuff like that. It seems really bad and problematic, but so far it's been okay. I mean, I haven't gotten to any parts of it being love. And in a weird way, I'm kind of excited to see how this goes because I've seen like really good reviews for it, surprisingly. And you'd think that if, because it's like an incest book, you, you would think it would be bad reviews, but I've seen pretty decent ones that it's pretty intense and amazing. So we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping I'll feel the same way because if not, that's gonna be weird. I mean, either way, it's gonna be an all around weird journey. So yeah, but I'm hoping I can get to this tonight. I had to finish all my homework tonight. I will usually spend four days during the week to do my homework. I do five problems a night usually, but tonight I had to like bust it all out just because I have a training to do after work tomorrow. So I didn't want to come home at like eight o'clock at night and do homework. So I will be able to come home tomorrow night and just read and just spend my night reading. And it's almost the weekend so I can finally spend some time reading and doing all that stuff on the weekend too, which I'm really excited for. Um, try and do some like, you know, 24 hour readathons, but I've been staying up pretty late recently, so I'd like to be able to bust out some reading if I could. I would hope to be able to finish this by the weekend. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, enough rambling. I'm gonna go eat, make my lunch for tomorrow, and then I'm gonna read. Cause it's only, it's, it's 8.30. It's like the same time as last night. It's 8.30 now. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that, and I will talk to you guys later. Hi guys, I'm doing a bit of a reading update. It is 10.53. I, don't, I think I updated you guys like 8.30 or something. I really have no clue. But I've just been reading and I made a pretty decent dent in my book. And I gotta say, I don't know what it is, but this book just kind of like drags me in. And I'm actually really enjoying it. It's kind of really slow at the start. Like it kind of takes a while. Like I'm on page 104 and there's no love scenes and there's nothing like romantic really involved yet it's just i don't know if it's ever going to be it's just a very deep book and it's very just very deep i don't know how to explain it but it keeps you really entertained and i really like the characters so far and like their backstory and like their uh the plot and their life at home which is like a really like sad thing so it's like a lot of people that probably read this could probably relate to that and i kind of could i guess but i'm just trying to see if things are gonna get you know, any more, like, you know, romancy. <laughs> I don't know. There's like a, it's like 400 freaking page book, 450 page book. So I still got some time for that to all go down. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. I am, um, I'm liking it. Um, so yeah, I'm getting kind of tired, but I think I'm going to keep reading a little bit. It's almost 11 o'clock, so I'll probably go to bed soon. But I'm going to keep reading, and I'll check up with you guys probably tomorrow. Hi, guys. <clears throat> Happy Thursday. I have not talked to you guys at all today because today has been extremely busy i literally just got home from work it's um 9 30 as i hope we had a training till like 8 30 so it was like from 6 to 8 30 so i just got home around 9 ish so i just had dinner some vegan and mac and cheese if you guys don't know i am back to eating vegan i know my parents have already yelled at me about it but it's just i'm doing this for me so i'm just taking it as i am and doing what i will so yeah um reading update wise i have listened to my audiobook some more i'm on chapter 13 14 or 15 don't really know but i'm actually liking it and i'm about to be taking a shower so i'm gonna listen to it in my shower and get at least some sort of like reading done even though it's not physical reading done but speaking of physical reading i read a little bit during work today because like we have like this back room for when the kids are asleep and when there's chill time i usually just sit and read well i haven't been but i have now and so i made it to page 178 i don't remember what i was on last night i think it was like 140 something um so yeah I'm, I'm still really enjoying this book a lot and i definitely would like to make a bigger dent in this tonight even though i'm pretty tired right now it is only again 9 30 so i still have a lot of time in my night and tomorrow's friday so i'm also not too worried about getting enough sleep just because tomorrow i can you know stay up and read as well um so yeah i have a lot of reading plans for this weekend i'm super excited to actually be dedicating a weekend to reading and uh having time to do that because again last night i finished all my math homework so i have time tonight and tomorrow and uh yeah just crunching more of my homework in so i can come home and have more free time to just do things and not be stressed out and whatnot so 
yeah, I'm really enjoying both of my reads so far. Definitely, I'm happy that I'm getting back into reading now. It just feels so good. It feels like I'm back to like my A game with reading. So hopefully this month I'll actually have like a wrap up. So that'll be fun because I've already finished one book for this month and then I will have two more that I'll be finishing probably within this weekend I would hope but and I'll hopefully at least finish by this weekend and be able to start some more books so I'm super excited about that loving life with that um so yeah I'm not gonna waste any more time that I've already wasted and I'm gonna go take a shower unwind read my book and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hopefully I'll update you guys a little bit more of my reading. Um, more things are starting to happen in Forbidden. I don't know what chapter I'm on, but I'm getting more in depth with the book, like farther into the book. So more things are starting to happen now and more, not like romancy things, but more of them kind of realizing their odd feelings for each other. I mean, it makes me uncomfortable, but in a weird way, I feel so connected with all of these characters. I think it's just because this book is such a deep book. Like it, kind of really dives in deep with the characters and their feelings and their thoughts and how their mind works and making it more or less that they're just a character that somebody's name is like sam they're this age they're like this they have their these characters were really like built up like i feel like they're real people you know so that's what i really love about this book is just how much these characters have been built and stuff like that and i also noticed that this place this takes place in like london i didn't know that i thought this was like an american book but apparently it's not so because they said like mate and they just have different ways of forming sentences than we do in america so i really realized that like last night or the night before that um but yeah i'm really enjoying my reads so, so far and they're both just like two different types of reads very different reads but again the wife between us i am really enjoying things are starting to get weird now like with the ex-wife i don't want to ruin it but like the ex-wife obviously like sabotages a lot of things so she's starting to like kind of creep in and show more of her like psychotic side so loving that and uh yeah i will definitely jump more into my thoughts and feelings on those books probably when i wrap up and once i get farther in with those books and like close to the end when i can have more of my complete thoughts so yeah i will update you guys later okay can we just talk about the wife between us right now so as you guys know i went to get take my shower and i was gonna listen to my audiobook and i did and i was just like listening to it you know and i was enjoying it and i was like wait a second a big plot twist just happened and let me tell you that's not what i was expecting and now it kind of the whole book kind of makes sense now i mean it did in the beginning but it was like a different plot but now it's just, like an even different plot because the plot twist happened and that happens at chapter 18 <laughs> So it's kind of a little bit in there. So now I'm currently on page 176. So um, this is a 400 page book, so I like two 400 page books. But wow, that was not what I was expecting. I feel like I finished the book already. I was like, wait, is this the ending of the book already? Because I feel like the plot twist, this is not what I was expecting. This book definitely took a different turn than I was expecting. But I like it. So we'll have to see how this plays out now. I can't wait till I finished it so I can just like kind of like spoil it and like talk about it because I really want to talk about it because that's kind of crazy. So yeah, definitely liking it right now. So I'm gonna go read um, Forbidden and save my audiobook for tomorrow. I have about six hours left. I have it was originally eleven hours, but now I have six. So I've definitely killed a good bit of my audiobook. So I should be able to finish that hopefully this weekend. Maybe if I get tired of reading, I can just listen to it. Um, because I'm trying to force myself to like a twenty-four hour readathon, maybe. So yeah. Also, eating some vegan cheddar squares, which are like cheeses, and I love cheeses, so. It's really good. Um, I'm gonna go read Forbidden. Listen to some soundscapes and chillax. It is currently 10 12, so I'm getting a late start on my reading, which I was well aware of, but can't wait for tomorrow because it'll be a weekend and I can read and just stay up and read. So I'm excited. So I will talk to you guys probably later tonight before I go to bed to get more of a reading update but i just wanted to talk to you guys about that fucking plot twist because i did not see that coming okay so hi guys i have a reading update because i'm getting tired and i'm probably gonna go to bed i'm on chapter 17 which is page 256 like i've been reading this book so fast i don't even know what it is it just this book just drags me in and i just can't stop reading it and it's just like shit has gotten so real at this point and it just keeps breaking my heart and like i've, I've annotated like my favorite parts which are like only like the romantic parts that I like really loved so yeah there's that <sighs> this book is just a wild ride and I, I don't know how I feel about the whole like brother sister thing I mean I'm not a fan of it but like I just oddly can't connect them as brother and sister at the same time so I don't know it's it's good and I definitely 
I only have this much left to read so I think I could probably finish that by like this weekend or even tomorrow if I stay up and read it because like I fly through this like I was like, okay I'm just gonna read one more chapter and then I'll go to bed and then I didn't realize how far I'd gotten so I'm really enjoying it and I definitely I don't know if I want to suggest reading it but like if you're someone that's not really judgmental I guess I would say give it a try and maybe just like hold off your viewpoints if you're someone that's judgmental I don't know I'm kind of blabbering right now because I'm like exhausted it's almost midnight it's a half hour till midnight so I'm gonna go to bed and then tomorrow I listen to more of my audiobook and then I'll also be reading this tomorrow as well. Obviously, reading all the same books because I take a few days to read books. But I'm surprised it's going to be a successful reading vlog, which I still have yet to edit. So that's going to suck. But um, yeah, I that's all I have to talk to you guys on for Thursday. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey, everyone, and happy Friday. It's finally freaking Friday. Um, it is currently 7.35. I got out of work around 6-ish. I literally have been doing so much since I got home. I've been talking to my mom because she's on her way home from New York from work. And um, a personal thing. Also, um, my, I'm not even, not even going to get into it. It's not even important. But anyway, um, home alone right now. So my dad's out until my mom's home. And um, I just wanted to give you guys some reading updates. Um, Forbidden, uh, I don't know if I updated you guys last night, but I'm on chapter 17, so page 257. Not bad. And The Wife Between Us, I think I'm on chapter 25, so that leaves me at page 218. Yeah, 218. And I am like at the exact same point with both these books. And I started them at two different times. So I have four hours left in my audiobook of The Wife Between Us. So I can hopefully finish that by tonight or tomorrow. And as for Forbidden, I'm going to probably finish that again this weekend. So I'll have finished two books this week. Actually, three books this week. So that's amazing. i um, really proud of that. I'm probably going to go play some Sims and chill for a bit and listen to my audiobook while, so I can finish it. Um, four hours with a fast speed. I should get through that pretty fast. I'm super excited about that. And yeah, that's all I've updated you guys on. I will talk to you guys later when I have some more updating to do. And yeah. Hey everybody and happy Saturday. So I have not talked to you guys like all day and <laughs> there's so much that has happened. First off, let's address the big elephant in the room, my hair. Um, yeah, I went off a whim and dyed my hair tonight. This is like a little dark brown, but it comes off black, which I'm fine with. And then I wanted to do that cute little thing that all those TikTok girls are doing where they like dye like their one strand of their hair like blonde. So I'll insert some pictures of how my hair was looking and it not working out. And then I ended up dyeing it the color that my hair is right now. And it turned out to be like this blonde, like a light brown blondy color. And I'm kind of liking it. So we're just going to go with it. It kind of looks green, kind of looks not green. Like, I don't know. It looks good and I like it. So that's all that I'm going to talk about of my hair. Reading wise, I actually finished a book and I'm really, I really, I'm going to talk about it. So kind of want to talk about the spoilers. So just kind of want to get it out there. I want to talk about this book because this book has so many fucking plot twists. If you guys follow me on Twitter, I was literally tweeting like every single day. Holy shit, this book gave me a plot twist. And I finished The Wife Between Us. And oh my god, I gave us a 5 out of 5 stars. I was on the edge of giving it a 4.5 or a 5 out of 5 stars. But I definitely think that this is deserved a 5 out of 5 stars. This is my first book that I've read by these both authors. And they see that they're coming out with a new one in 2020, which I might have to just snatch that one. I really want to read their other one, The Anonymous Girl, because I've heard that one's better than this one. But this was so crazy. So I'm going to start talking about it now, and I'm going to talk about the spoilers that were in it. So I'm just going to put like a disclaimer now that after this, I'm talking about the book. So skip ahead. I'm going to be holding the book up. So once I'm not holding the book up anymore is when I'm not talking about the spoilers. So there you go. So basically, this book was fucking crazy. I did not see the plot was coming because in the beginning, when I when I'm editing my my video right now, the video for my weekly video, whatever this video, I'm editing it right now. And I saw my initial thoughts of this book like 22 pages in, and I was like, oh yeah, the char char characters Nellie and Vanessa, 
no that's one person honey i did not see that coming and i did not see it coming that richard was the bad guy the entire time first off i didn't like richard in the beginning but the fact that he was the one that was like doing like domestic violence towards vanessa and to at the very end vanessa had become my favorite character and i usually don't like main characters but i love vanessa i really thought she was some psychotic bitch in the beginning but holy cow i did not see the whole plot twist of her those two different point of views being the same person but at different times i did not see that coming you guys probably could have seen that coming that being like the whole like oh yeah i knew that like vanessa and ellie all that kind of stuff but i didn't see that coming at all and like every single thing was answered like every question was answered everything like made sense at the end like every single thing and i was like holy crap like i just did not see it coming and it just had me like thinking i knew what was happening and then a chapter later i'd be like okay never mind i don't know what i'm obviously reading so it was just it like always had you kind of being like oh shit that's not what i was expecting or oh my god a fucking plot twist like i literally kept tweeting like for the past two days like the past i've been reading this for five days for the past couple days i was tweeting tweet tweeting tw yeah tweeting that the way between us has been giving so many plot twists and everyone's like liking it and was like oh my god i did not see these plot twists coming because i didn't see that richard was the bad guy i didn't like richard in the beginning anyway just because he didn't he just kind of bothered me i didn't even care for him but vanessa i really thought she was so like crazy batshit crazy like obsessed with like trying to get in between the mix of the replacement and then we find out that the replacement her name is emma and that she, that wasn't even her point of view this entire time and that vanessa was trying to save her from her being uh, like domestically abused by richard and i'm just like holy crap and that the whole reason that he probably is the way he is is because of that car accident with his parents and that's how his parents died and it's just like holy crap everything just starts connecting and it's just so crazy this is why i love thrillers and i this book was well done this is so amazing and i I would probably review this and I listened to this on audiobook and it, I actually was able to still keep up to date with everything even though at first I was very confused. I think it's just because that's how the book is. Like you really have to have to like pay attention and I was so excited that I was able to finish this part of the day because when I was dyeing my hair I was listening to this as I was doing it. My mom was dyeing my hair but I was listening to it as I was doing it and I was like okay I have like two hours left. I have one hour left. I have seven minutes left and I was like holy shit I'm gonna finish this now because I was like I need to finish this. It was like amazing and I'm really really happy that I finally picked this up and read this so this makes me want to go and pick up the anonymous girl so much more. So I'm done talking about the book now and the spoilers and all that kind of stuff but just know that I gave it a five out of five stars. I loved it. I cannot wait to talk about this during my monthly wrap up. I have now finished two books this week. I have still left to read Forbidden and I will definitely work on that tonight. It is currently 10.33. I've been super busy all day and I haven't had a chance to just sit down and read besides listening to my audiobook but that is what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm home alone so I am just going to chill all night and just read and maybe start another book. I'm not too sure what my plans are yet but I definitely want to read the rest of forbidden i only have like 200 pages left i don't know if i can get that out by night i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and stay up late tonight and just try and read and knock that out i also have to continue editing my reading vlog so yeah i kind of want to just finish forbidden and just have that done and over with i'm liking it but at this point i'm just kind of like kind of over it just because things aren't going the way i thought this was going it's it's a good book but it also is kind of very average like i feel like the characters aren't really strong with their words and communication and it's like the writing is like phenomenal otherwise besides when the characters are talking it's just very like weak I, I don't know i'm just maybe i'm thinking way too into it but i don't know i like the writing overall like everything is so in-depth and so great but then the characters when they talk to each other it's just so basic it's just like oh hey how are you i'm mad that you did this or mad that you did that but they don't like really talk about it and they just kind of scream at each other and it's just i don't know it's just different than what i was expecting i don't really know what i was expecting either but that's enough of that but i'm gonna go continue reading that and i will update you guys later hey guys happy sunday so i wanted to give you guys a little bit of a reading update on what i'm reading currently and i've actually started a new book and i'm really excited about it because so far i'm really loving it and i'm super excited that i've started this and it's actually an anonymous girl by Greer hendrix and sarah peckinen again i these have become like my favorite authors like within just one book like i love the wife between us and so far i'm really loving an anonymous girl like so much more than i was expecting and i just like love it so much already and i'm super excited that i actually gave this book a chance and i'm already on page 76 i listened to my audiobook like throughout my morning getting coffee making my breakfast and i played sims listening to it for a little bit and now i'm about to go thrifting and i'm gonna see if i can find any more like books there i'm basically gonna shop for clothes because i actually need like more clothes because i wear like the same clothes to work all the time it's kind of annoying so my plan is to maybe shop for some books there because i always find like a lot of like good seller books 
for super cheap at Goodwill for some reason. So I'm gonna go to Goodwill and see what they got there and some clothes and whatnot. So I'm super excited and I'll try and vlog what I can. It's currently 2.47 and the thrift store closes at five. So I still have a lot of time to thrift and whatnot, but yeah, I'm super excited. I will take you guys along with me. This video has officially been fully like edited. So I just need to upload it tonight. So I need to give myself enough time to do that. But reading wise, Forbidden, I actually read a little bit of it. So I'll be right back when we grab that. Okay, so last night around like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I read a little bit of Forbidden. Um, I was kind of getting bored of it and tired and didn't really have the energy to read. So I read to page 285, and I don't remember where I was at last, but I have this much left to read, like another 140 some pages probably. Once I hit like the 300 mark, I'll have like 114 maybe i don't know it's like 214 page book 145 book i really have no clue something around that but yeah so far I, I wish i feel like in the beginning i was really liking it now i just feel like there's just it's just really repetitive and i feel like i'm kind of getting bored of it and i really don't want to dnf it because i like it but i'm also just like okay now it's just beginning to the end of the book where i feel like the plot's kind of like dying not even like the plot's dying it's just so repetitive it kind of feels like i'm reading after again by anna todd and we don't want that because I don't like that and I read that book like two times and I just I can't it's just taking forever to get through and it's just kind of like it's like they're not growing like nothing the plot's not growing or enhancing in any form and it's just like the same repetitive things them fighting and them getting back together kind of thing and it literally just reminds me of after a lot so I'm not really liking that aspect to it but who knows maybe it'll switch up and something will you know crazily happen uh, which they keep kind of like foreshadowing it I kind of feel like where like people are gonna find out about them being together So maybe that's what's gonna happen towards the end They find out what's gonna like people find out that they're together stuff like that and yeah I don't know so we'll have to see how that goes But for now, I'm gonna go first and I'll talk to you guys later Hi guys, so it's well later. It is currently midnight and I'm just finishing editing this video I still have to export it and upload it tomorrow night, I guess So this is gonna be a very late weekly reading vlog and I apologize, but they're just gonna- it's gonna take way too long. This is like an hour long freaking reading vlog, so it's gonna take so long to get uploaded. I have been out of my house since my last clip. I have just gotten home like a half hour ago, something like that, from being out with my mom and stuff like that. So, yeah, I apologize for this is probably gonna go up late, but at least it's still going up, so. I just wanted to come in and say goodbye and end off this reading vlog. I have no reading updates, I have not read anything, but... I will be starting another weekly reading vlog tomorrow, and it'll be great, it'll be a fun time, and yeah. Give this video a big like, subscribe down below to the family, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!